So brake fade, uh, it's, it's pretty obvious, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory the term. It's when the brakes uh, lose braking power. You push, your, you push your foot on the brake pedal and you get less braking performance, you get less braking power. The fade comes from more heat or too much heat in the braking system. So that's it, the generic term, that's it. But there's two critical aspects of, uh, of brake fade, two things that can happen, two main things, and they're extremely different, and the symptoms are extremely different. If you're having a problem with your brakes when the temperatures are hot, uh, you need to be able to identify what type of brake fade you've got. So the two types, one is pad fade, and then two is uh, brake fluid fade, fade in the brake fluid. So fade in the brake fluid will come, is evident as a soft brake pedal when the brakes are hot. You can also feel, uh, also, the brakes may also feel less, feel less positive in normal driving. A fluid fade is a soft brake pedal. So that's the first type of brake fade, uh, is a soft brake pedal. The second type is a pad fade, when there is simply too much temperature uh, between the disc and the pad and the, uh, the coefficient of friction uh, reduces uh, between the pad and the disc. Now the pedal will feel strong, normal, you'll get a hard brake pedal but you're just going to have to push the brakes much much harder to get the same amount of braking power. Now that, that pad fade is probably the one that will knock your confidence the most. So why does it happen? Well it could, it could simply be that that the, the brake uh, compound material just can't co cope with the higher temperatures and it loses its grip on the disc. And the second reason is that the uh, pads are gassing out. It's, they're, 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 they're heated up so much that there's gas coming out of them and that is getting in between the face of the disc and the brake pad and that is what is reducing the pads grip on the disc. Either way it's pad fade and the only way to cure it is to get a set of better brake pads. Um, with regards to brake fluid, brake fluid fade, uh, the solution is much cheaper than a set of performance brake pads and it's also much easier. You simply need to change the brake fluid for something, for better brake fluid. Normally cars from the factory are supplied with DOT4 uh, brake fluid and the reason they're supplied with that brake fluid is that it is um, a long lasting brake fluid with the downside that the, the boiling point is lower. The next step in the upgrade for that is DOT 5.1 brake fluid. Higher brake, <coughs> higher boiling point, but you do need to change the DOT 5.1 slightly more often. And then the upgrade over DOT 5.1 then is your back DOT 4, but we're talking racing brake fluid. And this really should be changed uh, regularly. So the better the brake fluid, the more often you need to change it. And those are the two types of uh, brake fade that you'll get in the car. Either the fluid, which will mean a soft brake pedal, or it'll be uh, the brake pads, which mean, where you'll have a strong brake pedal, but the, the pads will feel like they've turned to wood, so to speak. The friction between the disc and the pad has disappeared. And that's it. That's brake, brake fade explained. If you like the video, please vote on it, and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.